I interpret Hector, and uh, Hector is a uh, he's a skeleton in the a living uh, skeleton in the land of the dead, and he wants to get back to the land of the living during the celebration of the Day of the Dead to see his family. It was a collaborative process to to create Hector because. Uh, uh, you try out things. You, I mean, you get the directions through the script, through the the scenes that you're doing, and you play around with them. And then all of a sudden, uh, the um, I don't know, the, they just start to to build the character. You know, they start to animate the character, and and you start to build this collaborative process that uh, ends up with this amazing character. Uh, Hector has a very good sense of humor, I think because um, I like his point of view in life, you know, I like the way that he sees um, what's important, you know, his priorities or his, yeah, his focus. I, li I, like, I, li I, li I like Hector a lot. Uh, he's a very easygoing guy. Uh, Miguel is a, is a kid that was born in Santa Cecilia, the fictitious town of Santa Cecilia. Uh, that uh, is born into a family of um, of um, uh, shoemakers, and um, and he's very good at music. And the problem is that his family is very negated with music. They don't want to incorporate music into their life because uh, there's a great grandparent that uh, left the, the the family, you know, to pursue his his dreams in in, in music. And uh, and therefore the family completely shut down the music aspect and is just focused on making shoes. And Miguel wants to to be a musician, but cannot incorporate that with his family. You know, he cannot um, comment on that. You know, he has to do everything on a clandestine level. Hector cannot cr cross it to to visit his family because his photo is not being put in an altar during the Day of the Dead, and that's the only way that you can cross to, to the land of the living. Miguel ends up in the land of the dead uh, whilst pursuing his, his music career, <laughs> his music uh, kind of dreams, and, um, and uh, eventually needs to get back, but the only way that he can get back is through um, a blessing that a family member can give to him. So he meets Hector, and Hector, you know, uh, sees an opportunity as well of getting this kid to put his picture in an altar, as well, so that he can go back to uh, to the land of the living. So they both help each other in a way. It's, it's actually a big role, yeah. I mean, because Hector uh, Miguel wants to be um, a musician, um, and. Uh, and it's through music that he will kind of get into trouble and at the same time come out of the trouble. <laughs> it is the tradition of the Day of the Dead and it is something that is done as a family. Uh, you put photos up of your, your loved ones and, uh, and yeah, I mean, you, you give them more life by remembering them. It was to I mean, really, really beautiful to work with uh, with Lee, with Adrian, with uh, Darla. You know, they were really supportive and in, in explaining also the the rigorous process that goes on in, in doing a, a film uh, of Pixar. You know, because they they make a big investigation on on the uh, the big development on on each film, and and they they make up really good movies, and they were really good at I don't know inviting me into this whole journey and this adventure. I mean, you feel really privileged because you feel that the wave is already on and you're just invited to surf, you know, like it's it's incredible. Yeah. First of all, that it's a very good movie. It is incredibly good. It is very solid on all levels. I mean, I think it is a, a beautiful movie uh, from an argumentative philosophical side to a very formal uh, filmmaking uh, the def um, description, you know, it is a very good, good, really, really good movie, um, and I think that's what makes it special. I mean, the fact that it's good because then it's just uh, then we can we can all we can all project while watching this movie. 
Hi guys, Vali here. Now, I love a good animated movie, as I'm sure you do. But have you ever noticed that a lot of cartoon characters have four-fingered hands instead of five? The reason is simple. Hands with four fingers are easier to draw and animate. Cartoon characters are always simplified versions of whatever their real-life equivalent is. A four-fingered hand saves a lot of time in animating and it really does not make any difference to us while watching. It all started with the very first Mickey Mouse cartoon. Okay, so if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you receive the videos the moment they are online. See you next time.